Hi there guys and welcome to Carrie's Designs. Today I have um, like my Easter haul and just a couple other things that I've gotten um, and ordered and found. So the first thing I finally found was our Barnes & Noble finally, finally had um, the flow book for paper lovers and this is my fourth one and it took my Barnes & Noble forever it seemed to get it but it has all this, look at that. I can just see using that for a cover for um, one of my uh, journals. I love that. But it's just, it has wonderful paper. There's um, labels here you can use. They're already adhesive. There is like a wrapping paper in here. You can collage, line paper, more paper, more paper you can color. Let's see, how's my lighting? Lane's a little wonky today, I think. Um, and I and more stickers to use. And I am just loving these things. I'm not too sure about this one, though. But it's got all kinds of goodness in here that you can put in your journals, your planners, your project life, anything you want. So I got that. And I also got this little guy right here. He was in my Easter basket. A little Easter Bunny knows, you know, some of the strange little things I like. I did find this, um, went thrifting, and I found this big um, ledger book. So I'm going to use this in some of my journals as well. And then the Easter Bunny, yes, this is all Easter Bunny stuff. So the Easter Bunny um, brought me some of, uh, the Easter Bunny had two little Raggedy Ann and Andy's that I like to collect wrapped in this and this was a um, flower sack my mom or excuse me the Easter Bunny had told me he had gotten it one of the Amish stores so got that <laughs> and then um, also in my Easter basket and I haven't tried these yet I did open them to see if they were going to fit in one of my other mechanical pencils I found or the excuse me the Easter Bunny found I believe they were at Target. He did his a lot of shopping at Target and TJ Maxx this year. Um, the Papermate LEDs, and I got pink, orange, and um, purple. And then they come with uh, they come with the um, what are these things? They come with the erasers as well. So I need to go and get. I I think I've got pencils here mechanical pencils I can put those in so I just need to do that also the Easter Bunny got me um, two of these actually he got me a pink one which is on my nightstand and this like jade green one so very very pretty that he got that for me that's better he also got me this little kitty pen so I didn't take it out of packaging yet I want to show it to you. Um, and I think he also, I think that Easter Bunny, he also went to the Dollar Tree. So he got me this little pen, which I thought was adorable. And um, he got me some of these little sequins. How he, he knew I wanted these two, I have no idea. So he got me the iridescent and the pink. So I thought those were adorable. He also got me the washi tape from Hobby Lobby. Aren't those beautiful? Love those. I might have to go back and buy some more of those, actually. He also got me some of these dry disposable jewelry wipes. And I found these classic British all-natural travel sweets. They're cherry drops and a... Uh, I think he got them for me to keep in my scrapbook room, so that's where I'm going to keep them, so I can have those when I'm scrapbooking. And he must have went to a couple of um, um, thrift stores, because look what he found me. Oh my goodness. And I have been looking at these on um, eBay for quite a while, and it still has all of the paint still in it and a little paintbrush. And I kind of like it because I didn't realize that it was, it says New York and it also says Sandusky, Ohio, which is like, 
about an hour or so from where I am. There we go. So love that. And he got me the, I don't know where he found these because I couldn't find them. The Candy Pop uh, Paper Mate Flares. And the colors are Raspberry Fizz, Salted Caramel, Blueberry Bubblegum, Gummy Green, Grape Gumdrop, and Strawberry Lollipop. And there's the colors that they write. And they are adorable. So now I can throw the pack this packaging away and put them with my other ones. <clears throat> and he got me um, the Jumbo Color Stripe Pencils. And these have different colored LEDs in them so that you can color and blend with them easier. So I thought those were kind of cool. And those are, I like those. He also got me this one, and this is an eight color one, which I did take out and write with it, and it is very, very smooth. So it has all of these colors in it, which are very, very nice. And he got me the pocket coloring book, and I believe this is from the Target dollar spot. But look at these pictures. Aren't these adorable? I just thought these were just so cute and I love all the unicorns I love them so I'm going to be coloring in this a lot and the last thing I found in my well besides the chocolate and the candy was this bag and I believe it's from Target or no I'm sorry it's from TJ Maxx but it's a canvas bag and it says hello gorgeous and it's got this nice big long strap on it so there is my Easter Bunny stuff, and then I will be showing you some of the books I've ordered recently. Okay, so, um, oh, and I forgot to, I also got some of this cheesecloth at the Dollar Tree just because I wanted to do some um, mixed media things with it. Um, I saw that. And then I've been ordering and buying um, some books from, let's see, they are from thriftbooks.com and you can also get these off of eBay where I had started ordering from them and I found that they have their own website so like with every $50 you spend you get uh, like a $5 um, coupon code and it's really easy to spend $50 anything over $10 you get um, you get free shipping so I've been going on there and um, probably for the past oh year no 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 probably since like the fall I've been ordering from thrift books I got this one today so this is Sarah Mata's South of France a sketchbook and it is really cute the inside cover looks like this and it just has little drawings of like her adventures through the south of France. I think it's adorable. And I got this to look at it basically for inspiration. Maybe to, I don't think, I, I have a real problem with cutting into books. But I am going to start cutting into books. So this one I would probably just make copies of this some of the pages but I love her drawings she is very very inspiring look at all of these signs aren't they fantastic so and the palm trees and I think that they're just really really cute so there's that <clears throat> Here is, because I'm liking collaging right now, so I got this one. This is Creative Collage, Making Memories in Mixed Media by Marie Browning. And this one has some really, really good ideas it, and techniques that I really want to try. So that's mainly why I got it. And again, like these books, most of these books were under $4. So I got like four books for like $12 and it was free shipping and they come within a week. 
and I really like how they've done some of their techniques using and treating trans or creating transparencies. I thought this was a wonderful idea, and I may have forgotten, you know, about some of these things. So I got that one. I also got this one, but it wasn't what I expected. It's Create Your Own Artist Journal, and it's by Erin O'Toole, and it's a beautiful big book, but I don't think, I on this one, I think I can actually cut this one apart. Just because I'm not in love with it, and she's got a lot of pretty drawings in here. There's one that, I mean, I could see using this for a journal cover. And the book is huge. Like, this one is just wonderful. So I think this one I'm actually going to cut apart. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> I love this. And so I'm just, I am going to definitely cut this one apart and use it in some of my journals. She just tells you, you know, some of the things you can use and that kind of thing in your journals and how to do, like, making a coil bound book. She shows you how to do that. gives you instructions and suggestions. A lot of this stuff I already know. So I'm not going to um, I'm going to cut this one up and use it. So that's one I'm definitely going to cut up. I also have been collecting a lot of the Edith the Edith Holden books. And I have two of these. So this one I'm going to definitely cut up and use. Edith Holden has just wonderful illustrations in her uh, her books and I find them again very inspiring and I want to look at that isn't that gorgeous so I want to use some of her illustrations in some of my journals I again just love this it's just beautiful and uh, I'd like to use these as covers as tip-ins in my journals this one is just to die for and wouldn't that be neat to have a even um because this reminds me of an a5 size <clears throat> to have an a5 journal and have you know use this for your june tab or you know have all the there's your april tab i mean i've thought about things like that to use and i think they would be nice i could even fold this in you know I can even fold it and use it that way. So I think that these would be just gorgeous. Look at that picture. Aren't those beautiful? <laughs> so that one I'm cutting kind of apart because I have two of those. These, uh, I have three of these in total, this, this particular book. And I've got one more on the way. And I'm kind of collecting these. Um, this one, I don't know that I'm going to cut up. It's like probably an A5 size too, maybe a little shorter than an A5 size, but again, it's Edith Holden, and this is my favorite book of hers. This is the Country Diary of an um, Edwardian Lady, and it's got a lot of the same things in it, but look at these pages. Aren't they just, see there's that same page, but aren't they just gorgeous? I mean, I can't get over how beautiful these are. And I am enamored with this book. And I love this book because it's the perfect size. And I could bring this with me anywhere and just be able to, you know, do whatever. This one I believe I will cut up. It's uh, just the paperback. And um, it's the same book. It's just in a bigger, a bigger size. And I love it. So I am definitely going to cut this up and make it into a... Uh, some journal pages and some tip-ins and things like that. So that's all I've got for now. Uh, I do want to do a book collection of some of the books I've gotten from Thrift Books uh, that I just love. So that's all I have for now. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.